Hi, I decided to make this video because I have in the basement, I found this Berkshire Rail Crane Proto 2, okay? So I brand new in a box. So I decided that I would set the thing up, but I realized that if I run it and the batteries are dead, my son's coming out to bother me here. If I run it and the batteries are dead and, uh, you know, the bat. <laughs> making me laugh and the batteries are dead you'll blow out your circuitry in there it'll actually be like a short in the board you, you know it'll it just won't run on the track it won't work properly it requires an 8.4 volt battery now i'm a ham radio operator too and i know how rechargeables work and they're a little bit less so in looking i found this battery okay and when you read the back it actually says eight not 9.1 volt not nine volts it actually says 8.4 when you read the back of this thing so 8.4 volts so that's what i'm going to put in i i put it back in a box i checked it to make sure it was charged by putting it on my tongue <laughs> okay now i'm going to set up the phone in a way where you can see what's going on and uh hopefully i can set this up i'll balance it on something and hopefully you'll see now i'm actually setting it up in one of my wife's house plants and yeah, I guess you see it. Now, there's four screws on the bottom of the train. Four screws, one, two, it's in the tender. Three, four. So I find that a nice holder is actually the styrofoam. You won't scratch it or anything. So I'm gonna take out the four screws. I'm gonna put them on the other cover. Okay, just be careful with them so I don't lose them. The front ones, you gotta turn it a little bit. I mean, the real ones. You got to turn the wheels a little bit to get to the screw. And that screw kind of, that screw I kind of dropped it. <laughs> but not really. It's right there. I just don't want to, I'll just take it out and tip it. And then you take out the two real ones. And I'm showing you this live. So if I make a mistake, you're going to see it. And the reason I chose to do my videos that way is I'm just a guy like you trying to do something myself and save a little bit here and there. And uh, I want you to see the real deal. What could really happen, <laughs> you know? If you drop a screw, if the screw's not going to come out, if I can't pull the, the thing out of there. Now, let me just slide the screw. There it is, got the screw. Okay, now, this, I believe, should pop right out. Okay, here we go. Now, here's the battery. Now, just be careful with these wires. I could unplug it if I want to be really safe. You see this little wire? I think it's long enough. It's just basically for the light. I think it's long enough where I'm not going to rip this little wire. See the little wire? I'm not going to rip it. I'm just going to leave it. Now, here's the battery. See this white battery? Looks just like a 9 volt. Just be very careful. And slip it out of there. Actually, I'm going to try to unclip it while I'm there. Now this white battery, it's garbage. I, I'm glad I real. I'm really glad that I chose to take this one out because that white battery is a piece of junk. I'm just getting something that I could possibly better flip that battery out of there with. It's giving me a little bit of trouble coming out. It's a tug. I got to lift up the front past this. It's giving me a little trouble. Okay, there we go. Now dead 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 battery but looks just like a nine volt now i take my nine volt which is really 8.4 pop this in when i put this on the track we should have proto sounds and uh that'll be the next video so you snap that in put the battery slide the back in the front clips down clipped in i'm done that quick that easy, there's your new battery. So go with the Energizer. It's actually 8.4 volts and not nine volts. You don't even have to unclip the wires. Let me just make sure I'm not pinching any, going back into the cover and I'm not. Make sure this, now there's a stopper on the back of this. They put a little tie wrap on that rear wire. Make sure that stays inside. So you don't, you know, they don't want you to get pulled. Let's say your engine discouples from the coupler, you don't want it to tug on that wire and rip it out of the board. So, 
And so, and you know what? I don't even have to bore you with the putting it back together. You got to see how simple it really was. Do me a favor, like, subscribe. You never know what you're gonna get in my videos. It could be anything from ham radio to a coffee maker. Take care.